For now, Azimio la Umoja won Kenya's Raila Odinga is still locked in a tight race with Kenya Kwanzaa's William Ruto, with both candidates still hovering between 48 and 49 percent of the poll outcome already indicated by the International Electoral and Boundaries Commission. Even as the country waits for the IEBC chairperson, Wafula Chebukati, to present the final outcome, the Presidential Transition Committee has kicked off the process of preparing to welcome a new president. Addressing the media in Nairobi, the committee chair and head of the public service, Joseph Kinyua, announced the kickoff of the transition process. Organize for the security of the president-elect. Three, organize for the necessary facilities and personnel for the president-elect. Meanwhile, several candidates subscribing to Azimio La Umoja won their respective elections gathered at the Kenya International Conference Center in Nairobi for a meeting with the coalition principals Martha Karua and Kalonzo Musioka, among others. In his opening remarks, Musioka commended those who ran on the Azimio La Umoja flag for their resilience throughout the four-month campaign. A very hearty congratulations to all of you who have done so well, done this country so proud, done our coalition proud, and stood firm for Baba the Fifth. He also consoled those who had considered defeat even before the IEBC yeah, so had declared their results, not to lose hope Kenyans in working for the country. And even after that outcome, we must remember that we are all Kenyans. We have only this country to call our motherland, and we're very proud of it. So nobody should be allowed to mess around <laughs> with our motherland. For her part, the coalition's choice for deputy president, Martha Karua, was optimistic that in the coming days, the IEBC would declare Raila Odinga the winner of the election, opening the way for more work to improve the country. Taken a step, but that's just the beginning. We have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to ensure that the people we serve get the benefits of the taxes that they pay. And those benefits are not distributed by a few to their pockets. The meeting was also expected to be attended by Odinga and the outgoing president, Uhuru Kenyatta, who is the chairperson of the Azimio La Umoja, in their first public appearance since casting their ballots on Tuesday. However, those plans were scrapped at the last moment. Members of Azimio.